All right, well, it's been six years since I uh, built my walk-in cooler and have been using the cool bot. And I get lots of questions on uh, my original YouTube video where I built the cooler. Uh, so I figured after six years, I would go over some of those questions and make a video for you. Um, yes, after six years, it's still running. I haven't changed anything. I've upgraded the CoolBot to uh, the CoolBot Pro. So I have access to, to what's going on inside the cooler on my phone from anywhere. Um, it uses Wi-Fi connected to my house. It's wireless. And uh, I can look on my phone from anywhere and and make sure that everything's going fine in the cooler. Um, but first I'd like to, to talk to you a little bit about my relationship with uh, CoolBot and Store It Cold, the company that makes CoolBot. So when I made the original video of my walk-in cooler, they uh, saw it on YouTube. The marketing director saw it and he reached out and contacted me and told me they really enjoyed the video and liked it. and wanted to somewhat be partners with me. Um, so they gave me a link where through my videos, if you uh, click on the link, um, you can go and buy a cool bot and get a little bit of a discount. I think it's $20 off and I get a little kickback as well. So if you're looking for a cool bot and wanting to purchase one, uh, I will leave the link to that in the description of this video. And if you'd like to buy one, you can go through that link. It just goes directly to their website and links it to me. So no big deal. If you don't want it, I don't care either. So anyways, let's uh, open up this cooler. It's, it's the end of the season here. I got my last deer in here. Okay, so probably the biggest question I get about the cool bot and the walk-in cooler is how much does it increase my electric bill? Um, to be honest with you, I have never seen an increase in my electric bill. It's such a small room that the air conditioner cools it down. Once it's cooled down, it's just the fan running constantly. So you've got a little bit of energy there just running the fan and the compressor kicks on and off as you go. But I run the cooler for about two weeks at a time, sometimes a little bit longer. Uh, but for the most part, it's about two weeks, and I have never noticed it on my electric bill. Another question I get is about uh, humidity, and I live in Wyoming, so it's pretty dry here anyways, but once I get the meat in here and cooled off, uh, you know, there's no heat to build any kind of condensation. That meat stays nice and cold. This is a hind quarter here, and it's just, you know, it's, it's moist, but it's not... I've never noticed any issues with uh, moisture. I haven't pulled the walls apart to see what's inside there, but I don't have any funky smells or any notice of any kind of uh, mold. Um, I would think after this be being shut off all winter and all summer that I'd open it up. If there was moisture in here, it would be a pretty funky smell, but you know, no smell at all. Another question I get is the floor. What did I use on the floor? Well, my shed here has a wood floor and underneath it it's not insulated and so what I did was I built the floor up about an inch and I put insulation inside there and then I used plywood on top of that so it's got a plywood floor but I don't have any issues with blood the only meat that comes in here it's always quartered and if there is some moisture on it it will drip but I got a piece of plastic here that I'll show you laying on the floor that will absorb any of that and then I can just pull that out and wash it and dry it and I've never had any issues with a bunch of water or blood on the floor. Okay a big topic is the rail that I have is what it is is it's called strut which I did not know what that was called when I made the original video um, but I was informed in the comments so is what it is for it's for hanging rails for electrical harnesses, um, something of that nature. Um, you can buy it at any electrical supply company or like Home Depot. I'm sure places like that would have it. Uh, and I wanted to use like rollers, but I, I didn't find any rollers. And I was a little worried that, you know, with the weight on there, it would stretch the, the strut out and, and my meat would end up falling. So 
people in the comments, and thank you very much, have told me about the strut nut. And I went to Fastenal and I found the strut nut. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if that's blurry or not. And then a, just an eye bolt that you can purchase at anywhere, Ace Hardware, Home Depot. And it just threads right into the strut nut. And you turn, the corners are rounded on the strut nut. And you can just push it up in there and push it in like this, twist, and it'll lock right in. It's got some teeth in there that hold right onto the rail. And then the hooks I just bought on Amazon. Uh, they're just stainless steel hooks and they're really handy. I, I really like them. Before I bought them, I just used like paracord. I would just tie it on there and tie it onto the eye bolts and uh, hang it up that way. But, but with these hooks, it's, it's so much nicer. I can even just hook it right through the meat and just hang it on there. Um, I usually use the tendons. I'll, I'll hook into the tendons and, and hang it that way. But, uh, they're, they're really sharp pointed and it'll just push right through the meat if need be. I also get lots of questions about the total cost of my build. Well, that just, it varies. It's subject to any area you're in. You know, you, you just need to look at your cost of your air conditioner, your cool bot, and the size of room you want to build. You know, you can price it out pretty easily. I I built it just like your, your standard walls. I did 16 inch centers with two by fours and insulation. And then on the outside, I used this foam board. Um, I didn't, you know, want to spend a bunch of money on some kind of material, uh, you know, even plywood. I didn't want to go that route. So I went with this foam board, which it's about three or four bucks a sheet, maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. But you know, the way things are anymore with the prices increasing on everything, I, I really can't give you a good example on what it would cost to build one. You just kind of got to, to, to plan it out and go price it yourself. Uh, but it, it is relatively inexpensive. Um, I hear a lot of people say they've, uh, there's other ways of doing this and that's fine. I'm sure there are, but with the cool bot, I don't have to worry about that. Um, I just turn it on and the thing goes. So when I come in here in the fall, right before I go hunting, I like to make sure that my air conditioner works. That's the only thing I worry about. I just come in here, open the door. Hit the power button, let it fire up, wait for the compressor to kick on, and then I know if it's working. The cool bot is always running. Um, when I'm not using it, I, I don't leave it plugged in, I unplug it, but you just turn your air conditioner on the lowest setting and you program your cool bot. I can do it on the phone with the cool bot pro. You don't have to get the cool bot pro, they also make just the regular cool bot. We can do everything right there on the cool bot itself you don't have to use the phone app um, I kind of like the phone app myself I get lots of questions about it uh, freezing like wanting their meat to freeze um, that's not gonna happen in here this is not a walk-in freezer it is a walk-in cooler uh, your deep freezes run about zero to two to four below um, this you know 33 32 is about as cold as you're gonna get it and that's not gonna freeze your meat to where you're not gonna spoil it. Um, you can get it a little bit slushy or a little bit frozen, but you're not gonna you know, put packaged meat in here and expect it to freeze. It's just not gonna happen. You need to, to use some other device or use like a deep freeze. Um, this is basically just an oversized refrigerator. Um, a, a regular refrigerator runs about 37 degrees, so that gives you an idea. You're just refrigerating it. You're not freezing it. All right, if you guys have any more questions, just leave them in the comments, and I will uh, get to those as soon as I can. Um, thanks for, for supporting my channel, watching my videos, and, and asking questions. Uh, you know, the walk-in cooler video is right around 300,000 views. That's, that's just amazing to me. Um, it's the most popular video I have on my channel and, and I appreciate you guys for, for watching it. And if you're looking at getting a cool bot, uh, in the description of this video, you will see the link, uh, to go to their website or just go direct to their website or Amazon or, 
or however you decide to purchase it and uh, let me know if you get one how it goes for you uh, thanks for watching